In this video, we're going to have a look at solving linear equations with an unknown variable on one side. To solve a linear equation, you want to perform the same operation on both sides until the unknown variable is left by itself. Now what you are doing is you're wanting to do the inverse of the operation that you're trying to get rid of. So the inverse of adding is subtracting. The inverse of subtracting is adding. The inverse of multiplying is dividing. The inverse of dividing is multiplying. The inverse of squaring a number is square rooting it. And the inverse of square rooting a number is squaring it. So by doing the inverse operation, to the operation you're trying to get rid of, you will be able to isolate the variable and work out its value in a linear equation. So let's have a look at some examples. So in our example, we want to solve the following equations by doing the same to both sides. So the first one is a minus 10 is equal to five. So I'm trying to get my unknown variable, my a by itself. And to do that, I need to get rid of the minus 10. Now I can get rid of the minus 10 by doing the inverse operation. So the opposite of subtracting 10 is plusing 10. So if I plus 10 onto this side, and then plus 10 onto the right hand side to keep it balanced, my equation will then become a is equal to five plus 10. So a is equal to 15. So I have worked out my value for a by isolating a on the left hand side and everything I've done to isolate a on the left hand side, I've also done to the right hand side. So in my second example, d plus eight is equal to 12. And I want to find out the value to, for d by getting it by itself on the left-hand side. To do that, I need to remove my plus eight. And I do that by doing the opposite of plus eight, which is to subtract eight. Now what I do to the left-hand side, I also need to do to the right-hand side. So my equation then becomes d is equal to 12 minus 8. So d is equal to 4. So by doing the inverse operation to both sides, I can eventually work out the value of d is equal to 4. So my next example is going to be 9m is equal to 36. And I want to work out my value for m. And I want to get m by itself. To do that, I need to get rid of the 9. And at the moment, it is 9 multiplied by m. So to do the opposite of multiplying by 9 is going to be to divide by 9. So I divide by 9 on my left-hand side. Divide by 9 on my right-hand side. So that then becomes m is equal to 36 divided by 9. So m is equal to 4. So in my last example, p divided by 6 is equal to 7. And I'll work out what my value of p is. So to do that, I need to get p by itself on the left-hand side. So I need to get rid of my divided by 6. To do that, I do the inverse operation, or the opposite of dividing by six, which is multiplying by six. And what I do to the left-hand side, I also need to do to the right-hand side. So my equation becomes P is equal to seven times six. So P is equal to 42. So by doing a series of inverse operations, I can isolate an unknown variable and determine its value. 